Woo Meg finally blinking that silence. Mm. Meg, did Tori shoot you? Let us know, yo. We need the tea. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Tea Talks with T. And today's tea is on Meg Thee Stallion as she's finally broken her silence and is updating her fans on how she's doing since getting shot. Now, this has been highly anticipated because we've been waiting to hear from Meg, but we haven't heard a word. Meg has been completely silent. So now she's broken her silence and is letting people know what really happened, what went down, and how she's doing. Now, if you're not hip to this whole situation with Tori and Meg, let me give you some quick tea. Rumor has it that Tori and Meg have been hooking up doing that thing thing for the past few weeks. Mm. And that's some good tea. Now, both of them recently went to Kylie Jenner's pool party and rumor has it at that pool party, either Tori was pushing up on Kylie or Kylie was pushing up on Tori. Either way, Meg was like, uh-uh, y'all not about to disrespect me right in my face. So she confronted Tori about it and basically rumor has it that she disrespected Tori. Now we don't know what she did, whether she knows she just put her finger in his face, cussed him out, told him he was short or whatever it may be. But Tori felt disrespected to the point where he had to pull out a gun and allegedly shoot Meg. Now, I'm gonna use the word allegedly a lot today because right now everything is still under investigation. So we don't know whether or not if Tori actually shot Meg, but right now that's where we're at. Now, Meg basically came out in this Instagram video and came clean and cleared all the rumors. And she let us know that she was actually shot in both feet, not just one foot, but both feet, and that the bullet didn't hit any bones, so she's gonna make a complete recovery. So, if you wanna look at a positive out of this, at least that is a positive thing, Meg's gonna make a complete recovery, and she's gonna be able to walk normal again. Now, I think Meg purposely didn't mention any names just because everything is still under investigation, plus, I don't think she wants to defame her brand. And what I mean by that is, let's take a look at how Rihanna and the Chris Brown situation happened. When Rihanna was promoting her album, everybody kept talking about the Chris Brown situation, you know, what happened with that. So her album wasn't really getting the promotion that it really deserves. So it led to a lot of negative press when she was trying to promote her album. And I just don't think Meg wants that negativity associated with her brand since she is the top female rapper right now and she's on the up and up, you know. So she just don't want that negativity associated with her brand. Now let's flip the script. Black Twitter, I got a bone to pick with you. Mm, mm, mm. Why is it that some people are glorifying Tory Lanez? Why are we making it seem like Meg isn't a victim here, but she's a person in the wrong? Why is people on black Twitter saying that, oh, Meg probably deserved it, you know, because she's ratchet, she probably ran her mouth, she probably did this, blase, blase. No! When it comes to our black queens, our black women, like, we have to respect our women, man. We have to protect our women as men. We are raised to never, ever, ever put our hands on women. So what does that justify Tory to pull out a gun and shoot someone? I know it's allegedly that he shot Meg, but regardless, even if he's allegedly the culprit in this situation, why are we still glorifying Tory Lanez? Like, oh man, you know, Tory Lanez would never do something like this. Tory Lanez is the guy, he's the bomb.com. Bruh, shut up. Just shut the hell up, listen. If Toy Lane's actually, you know, we, we find out that Toy Lane's is actually the shooter, we need to cancel him like we did R. Kelly. Like, he needs to go. But until then, man, we have to give Meg the respect she deserves. Whether we like it or not, she got shot. She got shot. So, so we have to respect the situation and stop acting like Meg is in the wrong, man. Meg is still the victim here. She is still the victim, man. And we have to treat our women with more respect and give the women the same respect that we give the men. Come on, y'all. We got to do better. We got to do better. Now, I'm going to play the full clip. So I'm going to let y'all decipher what y'all think happened while this whole situation, you know, you could take away from what Meg said. But one of the things that stood out to me in this video is that when Meg was talking about giving her energy to the wrong people, that makes me think that she was talking about Tory Lanez, even though she didn't drop, you know, Tory Lanez's name. Usually when people say giving out energy, it's uh, pertaining to the person that, you know, they like or that they fooling around with, that they're in a relationship with anything in those lines. So I think she's talking about Tory Lanez just because of the rumors. But before y'all go, I wanna know, do y'all think that Tory Lanez shot Meg? I think he did. I think he did, I don't care what y'all say. Tory shot Meg. I'm good. I really just wanted to get on here 
and show my face and show that I'm happy <laughs> and I'm smiling. You know, a lot of things have been, you know, things that have been making me not smile, but I'm back. So, I see a lot of people painting fake ass <laughs> narratives and making up stories and all this other whack ass shit. But I also see a lot of people that have been like being very supportive and sending prayers and I just really appreciate that. I saw the hotties doing a lot of things like writing letters on the on Tumblr and DMing me all the time. And I just want to say thank y'all so much because y'all really been the ones that have been helping me get through this. Uh, I was shot in both of my feet. I was, I was shot in both of my feet and I had to get surgery to get the shit taken out, get the bullets taken out. Um, and it was super scary. Oh lord, I didn't think I was going to cry. <laughs> but yeah, I had to get surgery. It was super scary. It was like just the worst experience of my life. <laughs> and it's not funny. There's nothing to joke about. It was nothing for y'all to start going and making up fake stories about. <laughs> I didn't put my hands on nobody. I didn't deserve to get shot and do shit. Like, and thank God that the bullets didn't touch bones. They didn't break tendons. Like I know, I know my mama, my daddy, my granny had to be looking out for me with that one. Cause where the bullets hit at, it just it missed everything. But they, the motherfuckers, was in there. And it's not that I'm, I was protecting anybody. I just wasn't ready to speak. That's not no shit you just immediately get on the internet and start talking about. And that's a lot of y'all motherfucking problem. <laughs> y'all take y'all whole life to Instagram and Twitter and make it a fucking diary. And that's not, that's not me. Um... So, <laughs> fuck y'all and them fake ass blogs and y'all fake ass sources and my fake ass friends. <laughs> but on a positive note, just taking some time to myself have definitely, it has definitely made me realize how to move forward. And... You know how to protect my energy. I'm so nice. Imagine, imagine being, imagine being 25, and you don't, you don't have both of your parents. My mama was my best friend. She, you know, I'm still really not over that. So you like, you kind of try to fill like your space with a bunch of people that you think is making you happy. <laughs> Shit. Like it's a lot. Jesus. 
Jesus. Hold on. <laughs> I just feel like I was trying to, I was moving really fast. I was moving too fast. I wasn't taking a, enough time for myself. I thought I was ready to be around a bunch of motherfuckers. I thought I was ready to be, you know, I thought I was ready to give good energy to other people and other people wasn't ready to give good energy to me. <laughs> But I definitely had to sit my ass down and pray on it. And I do feel a lot better. And thank God for the the people I have around me that are actually here for me and are actually my friends. Don't want shit from me. Would never turn on me for no amount of money, no amount of clout. That wouldn't make up stories about me to save face. That wouldn't that wouldn't go against the grain. Just thank God for them, and thank God for all the hotties and the supporters that I see have had my back through these times. And um, I ain't never seen so many grown ass motherfucking men chime in on some shit that wasn't their motherfucking business in the first motherfucking place. Like, do y'all niggas just wake up, get on the internet, and be like, oh, I'm gonna say this today because this is gonna give me some, like, this is gonna be funny. Like, what if your motherfucking sister got shot? Or what if your motherfucking girlfriend got shot? What if your motherfucking best friend got shot? Would you be cracking jokes then? Then you want the whole world to stop and feel sorry for you. I don't expect none of you motherfuckers to feel sorry for me, but it's just a respect thing. Like, shut the fuck up when shit don't have nothing to do with you. Stop fucking talking <laughs> when don't shit, some shit don't need to be talked about. And you out of your mind ass bitches. Are y'all, ugh. It's not even are y'all fucking dumb. It's yes, we know you're fucking dumb. It's just how many times are you gonna show me you fucking dumb? A lot of y'all silly motherfuckers just don't be having no morals or don't be having no code to stand on. But, you know, that's on y'all. And somebody gonna take care of your ass. Karma gonna take care of your ass. I ain't gotta do it. But anyway, I just want y'all to know a bitch is alive and well and strong as fuck. And, you know, I'm ready to get back to regular programming with my own hot girl shit. But I've definitely <laughs> learned that I, I don't have to be so nice to every motherfucking body. This ain't gonna stop me from being nice and this gonna, ain't gonna stop me from being making a motherfucking stallion, driving the boat, doing what the fuck I wanna do, having this good ass energy. Ain't nobody gonna stop my energy from being good. But what I can't do is keep putting my energy in you, a bunch of you motherfuckers. <laughs> so I love you hotties and I love you to everybody who has been sending me messages and sending me flowers and gifts and all kind of shit and just the texts in the morning at night throughout the day checking on me just thank y'all because i see all that shit like just thank y'all <laughs> all right i'm gonna call y'all back <laughs>